on this computer. So welcome everybody. I have a special guest for you today. My name is Gail Zintek. I am an associate broker with eXp Realty. I live in Three Rivers, Michigan, which is down here in this little Southwest corner. My husband and I are both realtors. We've been using send out cards for 14 years. And every once in a while, I have my friends that say, hey, I got a success story I wanna share. So I wanna introduce you to my great friend, Tracy Thompson, who is a realtor in Wisconsin. Tracy, I want you to inter kind of introduce yourself so people know like what areas you work and how perhaps they might be able to find you because great regents deserve to get great referrals. <laughs> so, and we're gonna share, we're gonna share a story today. Tracy left me this beautiful three minute video message and email. And I just smiled Tracy through the whole thing because like this stuff just really works. And if we can share, and I thought it was really gracious of you to wanna to share this opportunity, this success story so that other people could learn, maybe they could take something away from it, implement it in their own business so that they can have results coming up too. So introduce yourself and then let's talk about this card story. Yeah, that's not great. So my name is Tracy Thompson. I work for Remax Grand in a small rural community outside of Madison, Wisconsin. Madison's our state capital and I'm about 25 minutes outside of there. And it's in Sauk City. We're also known as Sauk Prairie. Um, some of you may have heard of the Wisconsin Dells. I'm a half an hour from the Wisconsin Dells. And I have been just using send out cards probably for the past two years. And I do it solely just um, to for my relationship-based business. I'm not an affiliate. I am not in the program that Gail is in, but. Like she said, I wanted to share with her one of my success stories and I left her this message and she's like, can you share that with the rest of the group? I'm like, absolutely. That's why we do what we do. So um, that's just a little bit about me and I work with buyers and sellers. And again, it's all 100% friends, family and referral for my business. And Tracy, how long have you been an agent? Uh, I went uh, three years. It's been three years in April. Three years. And so... On average, how many units do you close a year? Uh, about 32 to 34 per year, both on either side. So you realize that you're well above, way above the national average for realtors who actually do business. And let's just face it, the, the last couple of years, like you came in, I mean, it's it's been a seller's market ever since you've been a realtor. Yeah, yes, true. And has the last... How has the last year been for you business-wise and where did your, has your business come from? Business has been great. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm just trying to figure that all out. And I've talked to Gail about this, about, you know, how, what's next for me. I'm not sure if I want a team, you know, I don't know if I want a showing assistant. I don't know what's next for me, but business has been going great. And as you know, Gail, when it's friends, family and referral, it's very hard to turn somebody down that, you know. Like they are, they're coming to me because they trust me and I don't want to say, oh, okay, well then here's my buyer's agent. Like I have to figure all that out. But in the meantime, I've just got my, you know, it's full throttle for me, just trying to take care of everybody uh, to the level of expectations that I have for myself. Um, and if it gets to a point where I don't feel like I'm meeting those expectations and standards, that's when I'm going to really have to decide what I want to do. Um, but right now I've been just so grateful um, for just kind of not to be, you know, I don't mean to sound cocky or anything, but just coming out of the gate into this business, it's just been, you know, it, it's exploded for me, which I'm so grateful for, but that goes back to my business model is just like yours, friends, family, referral. And you're willing to work. You have some of the most unique and, and amazing ideas. And if those of you watching this recording, if you remember the bucket list post I made, you know, Tracy, Amy, and I, after our morning workout routine, we, we Tracy had an idea oh, I, about farming, like send, not farming. This is about sphere of influence. So it was about creating a bucket list that goes out so that, you know, here's Tracy's bucket list. And you inspired me. I put a bucket list together and you saw on there that you and I have a, a weekend camping trip with Stella. Right. We're going to do it. <laughs> We're going to do it. I can't wait. So, um, but let's talk a little bit about the story that you shared with me. Um, take us through, you had sold, you got a listing in a condo community. 
Um, you mentioned it was a, a nice upscale, high-end community in your area. Uh, how did you get that listing? Uh, ironically, that's funny you should ask, that all stemmed from a letter that I wrote. This was before send out cards. I said, I've got a buyer looking and they want your community. And then somebody kept my letter, right? And my business card. And it stemmed from just that, you know, working hard, kind of cold calling and working hard for my buyers. Um, and so then I earned that. And again, like you said, this condo community is on our Wisconsin River. It's a beautiful area. They've got the bluffs and the river right in their backyard. We have the Great Sox State Trail, which is a, a paved trail for people to, to use for recreational use. And, you know, again, high end. And I, those are the kind of properties that, you know, I would love to be able to represent sellers with. So that's kind of how that first relationship started within that building. Okay. And so you got the listing and I, what I loved about what you shared in, in the video you sent me is like, Gail, Gail, there's still, there's still agents out there taking pictures with their cell phones. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. and let's just face it, you know, sometimes maybe that works for some people in this market, but when we really want to do the best for our clients, we're, we got a listing coming on today. And it's a, it's a very, it's a great listing. So guess what? It's not just the professional photography, but it's also the drone work so that we can get the full encompassing of this property to produce it out there. And this was kind of what that was, right? You had pick a professional photographer and your drone operator go out there. And then what did you do with those pictures? Yeah. So that kind of goes back to my original comment to you is, um, for those of you who don't know me, I don't like to do anything traditional and I don't like to shove real estate down anybody's throats. I don't want to hire me, hire me, hire me. I'm in your face all the time. I do it very subtly and I like classy and sophisticated in my approach. And, and so it just irks me when I see all these, and I'm sorry if there's anybody out here that's watching that does this, but I just take pride in hiring a professional photographer and a videographer. And I see so many just, our port, those sellers are not being represented to their fullest when they have kind of these people literally in, you know, you've seen them in the mirror taking pictures of property. So I'm like, well, how can I tell the rest of these people my story in that community complex? So what I did is I put together a three tiered card and I got everybody's name and information off the tax record. And I just basically put these amazing drone pictures to say, you know, dear first name. So it was on a first name basis. I, I just sent, I just wanted to let you know that I had a professional photographer come out for one of the listings in your, in your community. And I thought this was too good to not share with you. I just think you should be really, you should be so thankful of this beautiful area that you live in and the management team that takes care of you every single day. Um, and, and you should be proud of what you call home. And I just wanted to share these with you. Like that was it, the end. And of course the back, I had my branding on. And, and that's how I reached out to 27 people within that condo complex. It was beautiful. The card was stunning. For those of you who know the one I'm talking about, the front says, this is bliss. So I didn't spend a lot of time in Canva creating anything. I just photo dropped these with my pictures. So what did I do there? I was farming. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of that word, but that's ultimately what I was doing. Farming a community, subtly saying, Hey, if you hire me, I'm going to, I'm going to hire a professional photographer and you're going to get this kind of stunning representation right? And then also my message was just, you should be proud that you live in such a lovely home. Really? That's it. That's what my card was. So then it was, you know, a short time later, you, well, you got a call from the president of the association who I'm assuming lives in the complex, right? Yes. And what did he, like, this is the interesting part because he was blown away by the card and he's like, Hey, how did you do that? And so I'm curious because I had a question. He wanted a card sent to him or some cards, stock cards. So did you, how many cards did you send to yourself to deliver to him? Or how did, how did you do that? Tell that part of the story. Yeah. So then what happened was the president of the association who I've done business with by the, by the way, because I need documents from him, as all of you do who are watching, you have to have condo docs, at least in the state of Wisconsin. And I've always commended him because he's so thorough and I appreciate him so much because he gets back to me the same day. He operates the same way I do. And I'm, I've dealt with a lot of condo association presidents 
And this guy is just a shining star. So he reached out and he says, oh my God, those cards are so beautiful. Where did you get them? And of course I said, send out cards. But then I just said, well, Vince, what are you really looking for? He's like, well, I just want a card like you did, but I want it blank. I just want to be able to handwrite a letter to my loved ones or handwrite somebody a letter in my association, but have those beautiful pictures on there. Well, ding, ding, ding. I remember Gail telling me that you can do these, uh, do these bulk cards. Um, and I don't know what those are called in language. Is it just bulk? It's, yeah, it's, it's the, uh, 25 or more. So you, did you order 25? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did 50. Okay. I think I did 50. So I said, what do you want it to look like? And of course I removed my branding. Of course I removed all the verbiage. And then I just said, you know what, Vince, how many do you need? And so I had a box of them delivered to my home when they were all done. And I have to be very careful in the state of Wisconsin because we cannot pay anyone for a referral. I can't give them a gift card, nothing. But this was different to me. This was just a true thank you from the bottom of my heart because he is so helpful. I, I need things and I need them timely. And I just delivered him to his mailbox because they have this little community area, left him a note and said, enjoy the cards. That was it. And, I, and he of course thanked me and all this. And it was just a feel good because it's just nice to do things for people. And that's what he had asked for. And I was able to deliver it. So that's awesome. And send out cards made it easy. So for those of you who may be hearing this for the first time, you can, if you've sent a card, here's what you do. You send a card first. And then once you go back into the card history, you have an ID number for that card. You contact customer support at send out cards and you tell them, I want 50 of this card and they will produce them. They'll give you the blank envelopes as well. And they'll, you just pay the shipping. So you're going to pay the per card, whatever, whatever program you're on, you'll pay the, the price per card, but then it's, it's bulk shipping and not per card shipping. So um, I've done that many times. There's sometimes when I just want to, I want to have some blank cards where uh, someone does something nice for me and I maybe I want to give them a, a gift card or something that's not within send out cards. I can write a personal note. I've done that. Or I have to send a check to my bookkeeper or my, my accountant, right? <laughs> because uh, they've done business with me and I, I like to send cards. So having some blank cards around the house for me, maybe with pictures of my lake, makes it nice. And I brand them too. So you know, Tracy took the branding off for this occasion for that person, but you can also order them and have your own branding on them so that you, you can do those. Maybe you, maybe you send um, scratch off cards for St. Patty's Day, you know, the, with luck. You, you, like you can think ahead to a holiday or an occasion where you might want to add something into that card, create that card have it sent to you and now of course it's not as easy when you have to address all those cards out if you have something special like that going but it does work um so tracy uh after after this it was just maybe what a few weeks ago you got a call to go have a conversation with somebody in the complex correct yes i did yes they wanted to um, possibly list their home and she was going to be in town from Florida because she shares her time between Florida and here. And so during that meeting in her living room and after the tour, I asked her, like I asked everyone, may I ask where you got my name? And guess who gave her my name, guys? The president and his wife. And it was just as simple as that wasn't my intention, right? I was just doing something out of kindness, right? He's proud of where he lives. He asked for this. I felt like I wanted to say thank you to him anyway. It was just a win-win. And I earned the business and I actually had two listings in that complex at the same time. They went live last Friday. And so I'm just building those relationships based off a greeting card that I sent to kind of show off my photographer and, the, and, and what I can produce for them. But it also stems back to that powerful voice at the president level of sharing my name because he thinks I'm a good human being and that I take care of people because, and I respond. Because you also mentioned that he has relationships with several other realtors. So yes, he, 
you know, think about that. How do you stand out? How are you standing out in your business? And you, you said it, Tracy, it's about kindness and you're just receiving the, the law of reciprocity. When you, what you send out in life comes back to you and you didn't send the cards to get business. However, you sent the cards to become visible. Like, yes. That's what we do. We, we continue to send cards because we're visible. Um, I like, I have countless, the, the listing that's going live next week for us, our, our biggest listing ever, it'll be $985,000 listing. And if you, if you've read the power of human connection, page 36 in the book, it all, it's all a part of that story. See these people contact us because they're, they're making the series of moves, right? Mm -hmm. And when we were in Florida for two months, I got an email. Well, we got a phone call and a referral. We've been helping one of their employees find a home. Steve's out showing a property today, um, listing Kiara's home uh, first of next week. And here's how he addressed the, the email to us. Mr. and Mrs. Floridian, <laughs> when you get back, we really need to talk about listing my house. It wasn't like, you know, it was when you get back. Because see, the relationship has been formed. And the first thing he said to me, and of course, when he referred Frank to us, I sent a card, I sent a box of cookies, he's got four kids now. So, you know, I for the household, just, you know, as a thank you, not as a referral gift, but it was like, thank you. Thank you for thinking of us. Even while we're on vacation, you trust us. And first thing he said, when we were on our way home the other day, he's like, hey, um, really want to get talking about listing my house. And, and by the way, thanks for the cookies. And it's yeah. just a bypass, you know, thanks for the cookies. But that's the power of what building relationships, staying top of mind with people and just giving the best version of yourself away every day. Tracy, you give the best version of who you are as a real estate agent away every single day. And that's what's keeping people coming back more and more and more. And so I'm just really proud of you. I'm proud to know you. I'm proud to be your friend. I'm so grateful for the way we've been able to get connected. It's just yeah. been, you know, just one of those things. You're just a sister from a different mister. For me. <laughs> right. and, you know, we have so much in common and I'm just looking forward to all the successes that you're going to create this year and beyond any closing words or words of advice or, or um, that you have for the listeners that are listening today. Yeah. Well, Gail, I feel the same way about you. Truly I do. And I think it comes down to, you know, just the power of this tool that we have and it's different. I mean, we could talk about it all day long about these cards and what I did, you guys, isn't anything different than you probably do every day, right? Farming a neighborhood. Again, I don't like that word, but it's just different. And my approach is just very subtle. It's very, it, again, I'm not like, you got to buy for me or here I am, or here's my phone number. It's just a really subtle message. So I guess it would challenge you to determine what's your approach. How do you want to use the cards? Um, I, there's just so many different things that you can do with it, but I feel like this was a success story I wanted to share with you uh, just because it was able to showcase the beautiful photos to be able to get in front of these condominium owners that are higher ticket, you know, listings that I could get and just kind of the goodness that I feel with the friendships and the trust that I've built just by being my authentic self through send out cards. So that's it. Be your authentic self through send out cards. And if there's comments or anything coming in, Tracy and I are fully over here on Zoom. I'll go back and look through there. Um, if you have questions or comments and connect, connect with Tracy. Now here's what I'm gonna say. Tracy will share ideas with you, but don't <laughs> be, just be mindful that she's a full-time real estate agent, wife, mom, and she's, she, and this girl loves her outdoors. So, you know, she's not asking the group and at her convenience, she, I'm sure she would share with you 
we have shared many, many ideas over time and it just blows me away the, the creativity that Tracy has for her cards, for her ideas. And I'm just, um, I'm grateful to share her with you today and thanks for joining us. So I guess we're gonna sign out of Facebook Live. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Gail. See ya. Bye.